Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? So today I am going to start making the Lunar New Year wooden pieces. And like I said in my other video, and I'll link it here, I'm waiting for the little rat um, stencil. I think one comes with a three inch stencil. There's like two in the pack and one comes with a five inch. So maybe I could actually do another stent, use the bigger one on like a, a painting. Um, I actually, those are 12 by 12s I just bought. So that's actually a slightly bigger than I usually use. And then these guys, and these are actually a four by f four by four, don't know, four inch rounds. Um, the other one, I'm actually just varnished a whole bunch of stuff. Um, these have uh, two coats on it. I literally just did it. So these guys are wet. This is actually, I said this was a four inch round. This, that was wrong. That's a six inch round. So, um, and that came with my Primal Flow um, kit. And I just got some varnish. I got some Liquitex. And I got some brushes. So actually, if anyone has any tips on varnishing, because I this is not something I usually do, and some of them came out pretty good, like with very little to no brush strokes. And this one, I'm not going to show it right now because it's just wet. This one came out cool because it actually had a little texture in it, so it kind of worked. And there weren't many brush strokes. But if anyone has any tips on how to, you know, varnish would gain the least amount of brush strokes or no brush strokes, please uh, let me know. Because these are white nylon brushes. Maybe I need a different type of brush. Um, these are actually very, very soft. So, you know, just let me know. Like, leave a comment below. Like, if you do varnishing a lot, you know, um, yeah, give me some tips, okay? Because that's something I don't do a lot, but I actually like to do it. Instead of, like, always resining. Oh, well, I don't do that a lot, too. But, like, going to the resin, I'd rather, honestly, like, varnish it. I think it, the, the look is pretty much the same. Um, but I do like the resin as well. So, um, for now I'm just doing three, okay, and I'm actually using three different paints. So for this one, I am doing the Artist Loft Premixed in yellow and red. I don't have gold, but in uh, Lunar New Year decorations, they actually use yellow, bright yellows as well. And I actually ordered some more gold pinks. I'm actually running out of uh, a lot of gold paint because I didn't realize how much I used it. So I bought some deco art and some folk art gold. Um, I, think, I think one of them is called the Extreme Sheen and the other one, I forgot what it was called, like old gold or something like that. Okay. This one, I'm using two different paints again. I'm using the Montmartre and I'm going to use that medium with it. And here I have the Glam Red with the Primal Flow. And I'm going to use uh, their um, medium with this one. And on this one here, um, I ran out of the gold in this uh, brand, Arteza. So I'm using the Brilliant Red. And I'm actually going to do Neon Yellow. So I'm just trying to experiment a little bit. And the reason why I chose these paints is because I don't want a lot of mixing of colors. Um, a lot of times these paints here, like especially these, this one, I don't know. Sometimes it mixes uh, mixes into the um, into the other colors, the Montmartre. But because I'm not using gold, I'm using the yellows. I don't want to get orange. I want it separated, like separated with the line. So because I don't, you know, because for the Lunar New Year, I want like gold or yellow and the red. So I ch that's why I chose those paints. Usually these, these guys hold the line better than other paints I have. Usually like Arteza, the regular Arteza. And the other paints, they, you know, they mix. They mix when I'm doing the uh, pores. So I'm going to be doing three different techniques today. I don't know which one I'm doing. I definitely am going to do a ring pour. Um, I may do a straight pour. And I may do a strainer pour. So I'm going to do one, a different one for each little guy. And so once my little rat um, stencil comes, 
I am going to do the giveaway. So basically, just like a quick, uh, I'm going to make a whole video about, about the actual giveaway once the rat um, stencil does come and these are finished totally. So I'll make a video just about the giveaway, but just like a heads up. When I make that video, then um, yeah, you'll I'll, you'll get the rules and all of it. Basically, it just be subscribed to me and you know make a you know make a comment on that video, but not this one right yet. All right, and that's it. And then when the way I'm going to do the giveaway is just I'm going to pick three you know random names in my little holiday bucket that I like to use, or maybe actually I'll use this guy. I'll put all the names in here and I'll. That's what I'll do. I'll use this guy. That's, whoop! Haha! <laughs> this has been broken for a while. I have not yet fixed it. I just need a little high glow. Sorry! Alright. <laughs> Whoops! Alright, so guys, so this is actually my first time making a new video using my new table. And I am so happy. This is so wonderful. I get to walk around and have great camera angles. And then I can actually do you know, some bigger paintings now too. I'm not just like kind of constricted with a smaller stuff. So, but I do still like my little setup here, but all right. So just stay tuned and we will be back with the three pours. All right, guys. See you in a sec.
guys, I'm back. So, this one was a complete fail, obviously. Um, this was the Artist Love Premix. That was the ring pour. And yeah, it obviously didn't come out the way I wanted. So it's down here. So I just decided to do another one. It does look orangey to me. But I still like it. And it could still work. I may... I, you know, I may just do another one for the giveaway, um, because I'm not thrilled with either of them, but I can make them work probably with, um, you know, the nice little, uh, rat stencil. Maybe I could use, like, gold paint. I was going to use black with the stencil to really pop out. Uh, but, you know, I may keep them and see how they come out in the end. But this was the ring pour. I mean, this one came out better than this one. This is no ring. I don't know what happened here. We're going to pretend that never happened, okay? This was the straight pour with the um, Primal Flow and the Montmartre Gold. And this is beautiful. I love this one. This is so far my favorite. I just love all of this. This is exactly what I was looking for. So that is going to work perfectly. And this little guy, this was the strainer pour with the Arteza. And I used up the rest of the Brilliant Red. And this actually is perfect too. There is, you know, because this is a very small piece, um, the nice little, um, you know, textures uh, and movement you get with the strainer, um, you know, it's small, so it didn't have, like, a lot to work with, but this is actually perfect, because right here, I could put the little red, and that could be the center of the show, and this could just accent it, so, yeah, those are the, the pores today, I may keep this one and work with it, um, yeah, you know, I could definitely make that work, and then what I'm gonna do is, I am going to go to a local, it's a stationery store, but it's also an art supply store. Unfortunately, they are usually incredibly expensive because it is convenient right up the block from my house. Um, so that's why I usually don't go there a lot unless I'm desperate for something and I really need something and you know, I'll pay the extra money, but they are ridiculous in there. Um, you know, sometimes it's just like, wait a day or two, you know? Um, yeah, and then when you order from Michael's, I mean, I'd rather go to Michael's because I don't have to pay the shipping. But anyway, in that store, I, I ramble so much, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, in that store, they sell felt. So I think the perfect way to finish these off is I am going to buy some gold, yellow, and red felt. And I am going to, yeah, I'm going to finish the backs off with that. And then do the little rat stencil, and they will be done and ready to go. And I'm going to make more of these, and then, um, like, maybe on my own, you know, like, off camera, and see if there's other ones that I think came out better. Um, yeah, then I'll do the giveaway, okay? So I think that is all. Oh, yeah, and if you were looking for the unboxing today of the Primal Flow, uh, my subscription box... I would have done that today, but I missed the delivery. It was on the truck from 7.30 in the morning. It didn't come until 6.30 at night. I don't know what this male guy was doing, a woman. I don't understand. It said they were in Jackson Heights, a couple of blocks away from my house. I, mean, I don't understand why it takes 10 hours to get uh, a few blocks. But I went out with my friends that night and I had to leave. So I missed the delivery, but I am having it re-delivered today. So hopefully it doesn't come that late. And I can um, do the unboxing most likely tomorrow. You know, that's probably what's going to happen. Knowing the mail system, the U.S. Uh, Postal Service here, um, it is what it is. So that is no big deal. All right, guys. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, so my Lunar New Year pours, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.